I chose people that like to wear clothes as a fashion statement. A.F. van der Voorst, Vanessa Seward, Véronique Leroy, Isabelle Marant, Anne Valérie Ache, Vanessa Bruno, and Christophe Lemaire. I don't know if there's a conventional route. I admit that I didn't have the vocation. I wanted to work in decorative arts, that's for sure. I was interested in design by and large, uh, in the quality of life surrounding us, in, in interior design, in what we eat. I approached this work from that angle. It's not because I had the desire that I do this work. It's rather a vocation and I always knew I would do this. I was always very interested in colors, clothes, fabrics, and I've always made clothes, first for my dolls and then for myself. I didn't study much, but rather started to work right away, and around the age of 24, I was sure I wanted to create my own line of clothing, because I spent my time looking for clothes in second-hand stores and making things for myself. I always had girlfriends ask me, oh, can you make the same thing for me? So finally, I thought, I may as well do this for other women, and I started my business. The desire to have our own collection is a dream from the start. I think that from the start at the Anvers Academy, each student dreams of having one day his own collection. New generations are born every year, and luckily so. However, one can say that every 10 years or so, there's one a bit more dominant than the rest, and one who will have a future with their own tools, their methods, their own way of thinking. They announce a new way of making fashion. In order to be a young fashion designer, one has to be absolutely, absolutely sincere. Absolutely sincere with regards to their head and their heart, and to attempt to express this in the most honest way possible. The journey is very much linked to desire and aspiration. I don't think at the age of 10 I knew I was going to work in fashion, even though I loved it. I think this came later, when I realized that whatever happens, I'll do something in construction, manual work in relation to fabrics. But it could have been architecture, cooking or hairstyling. I think I ended up in fashion without really understanding why. And voila, I stayed there. From a very young age, I had quite a strong idea of how I wanted to be dressed. And I started to put together my own clothes, from my father's old shirts or his silk dressing gowns, which appealed to me enormously. One thing led to another, and I started making clothes for my friends, who saw what I was making and asked me to create for them as well. I realized that from the age of 16, 17, I earned my living quite well by selling my own creations to my girlfriends. <laughs> Une option ou pas
Fashion today must be understood and lived and worn by people in reality and in the day-to-day. -day. Women expect fashion not to be a disguise. We can observe this in the forums. They wish to seduce. They want to please themselves, not only to exist in the eye of the beholder. They want to exist for themselves and be pleased with their look. It's a game, but it must never be a disguise. One doesn't necessarily want to look like the models of formal fashion. Of course, that doesn't prevent one from playing with the fashion trends. I couldn't say exactly what women expect from fashion today, but to me I try to create fashion that they'll feel good wearing and which will boost their personalities, where they're not caricatures of fashion, but at the same time they have the possibility of playing with the style, an elegant and sophisticated style, feminine. This is what I feel is essential for me. I really love fashion design by a woman designer. I find the fact of being a woman compels, more or less consciously, the designer to set limits. Generally, from the collections and work of the woman designer emerges a balance, a harmony between what she has in mind and what her body will accept wearing. The Trends Bureau plays several roles. Above all, it's an antenna, an antenna of all that's going on in fashion and around fashion. I think the Trends Bureau's task is extremely vast, which is why they employ huge teams who travel throughout the world and take absolutely everything into account. From the street look, to what's happening in nightclubs, to the latest film, to the latest novel à la mode, everything is important. All these factors are important because they constitute the feel of an era, meaning what we are immersed in, what we would like to see ourselves in. The clothing will act as a mirror of all that. What women look for in fashion today is that it fits their lifestyle. Women today lead active and strong lives, especially in big cities like Paris. And fashion should adapt itself to that. Women want to be feminine. They want to remain seductive. And in spite of it all, they also want to express this femininity with ease. With clothes and accessories, I'm talking about a look here, tailored for this purpose. There are general topics that are very important for us, and on the whole, fashion, which is like a sponge, very rapidly reflects and captures what's in. So for me, a trend is a sort of emergence of a style which is suddenly present. Whereas maybe six months or a year ago, there was no mention of either this color, this form, or this fabric. An emerging trend is also subjected to the verdict of fashion magazines, the press in general, television and all communication channels and internet, which will either confirm or reject it. I try not to ask myself, will I be in the trend? On the contrary, I think this comes naturally. Ultimately, it's a universal thought. The real revolution in fashion for the past 30 years hasn't really been initiated by the designer. It's sport, it's rock and roll, it's the street culture. 
It's the fact that we can wear more or less what we want and express our own values with um, much more freedom. Who's the next one? Wait, that's you. For the full winter 2007-2008 collection, I had several influences. The day wear section was influenced by my Argentinian origins, with a somewhat gaucho effect with boots. I love dresses to be strict, but sexy. So very buttoned day dresses, but at the same time they're adjusted for a close fit to the body with slashes. For the evening, I concentrated on the back. I think it's not bad for a woman. She doesn't have to worry about being watched because she can't see who is looking. So it's easier. I'm a big fan of the golden age of American cinema the 30s. I love the Art Deco part of it. So we find a little bit of that with the hint of the 70s because it was the golden age of Azaro in the 70s. And since I myself wear dresses, what I look for is a dress that gives me enough self-confidence so that I can forget I'm wearing it. Because that's what places it in our time. When we have to leave the house wearing it, that's, that's all we're conscious of. On est conscient de ça. Next winter's silhouette will include lots of tunics worn over relatively short skirts. The focus is on the legs. Clothes will be quite ample. I've always had the feeling that I succeed even more when I create something that I want to wear several times and keep in my closet. So I'm trying to be more precise these days. 
very fine-tuned. The cuts are getting better and better. I think it's also a question of maturity and age, which make me concentrate on the details much more than I had done earlier. I approach each collection with the constant desire to say the same things, but to say better. Consequently, it's the same trail that I'm following. The desire to create a style made of simplicity, a sort of evident things that we wish and need to wear, uh, which are connected to the lifestyle I'm familiar with, which is an, an urban lifestyle. Active, tweed hooded coats, hooded raincoats with uh, eye prints, which is a way of bringing some strangeness into this. From a distance, one thinks of dots, but when approaching, one sees its eyes, a somewhat uh, surrealistic dimension in otherwise quite classic clothes. It's nice to have a little imbalance. Perfect things are boring. Fashion predicts a rather cold winter. Most of the collections are very covering, with very warm fabrics, hugging the body and also protecting it. Not only a climate perception, but perhaps also a symbol of protection. Alongside that, there's a whole new trend, going back to the hippie attitude but with a grain of salt. These hippies are very urban. They're not living the back-to-nature life, but they wear blankets. Very loose clothes in which one can curl up in and also be protected. The fall winter 2007 2008 collection is called Bonne Nouvelle, Good News, because here we are on Boulevard Bonne Nouvelle, because I had just been told I was pregnant, because I was in the mood to restructure, to turn a new page, a very structured collection. The brand's codes are the feminine and the masculine, black and white. We love juxtaposing lace and men's fabrics because at the start it was the little girl who wore men's clothes. There's a constant tension between the very masculine and very feminine side of women in general. I dreamt of a medieval princess, but of a contemporary medieval urban princess. I want to show a warrior, but a gentle warrior, through a series of layers, drapes of muslin and silk, which give the impression of petals, in reference to an armor, a soft armor. I also worked a lot on meshing, handmade mesh, but I wanted a couture look so it's mixed with either fur or, on the contrary, with organza and silk. It's intended for a woman who wishes to wear clothes and feel good wearing them, extremely feminine clothes, but which can be adapted to fit a modern lifestyle, where one feels good while looking and feeling feminine and fashionable, comfortable in one's clothes.
pour l'hiver. Pour uh, l'hiver 2007-2008, We're starting to see combinations which we've never seen before. Satins which are wrinkled like scales, walls coated like plastics, fur coats which look as if they're waxed. Astonishing stuff. I don't understand the recent collections, and I like that. I like that because this means there is a true research and that we're about to pass from a world focused on its history to a world using its history to build its future. I very much like this idea. This winter we created a collection based on two contrasting themes. On the one hand, we worked on the concept of shamanism in the sense of spiritual, connected to nature, We used natural fabrics, wool, rather thick cotton, raw. On the other hand, we worked on a voodoo concept. The look is very polished and tamed. But on the inside, there are some unusual aspects. Clean-cut blouses, white with a stiff color, to give this contrast of raw and fresh elements in the same silhouette. The periods that inspired me were the 80s and the 40s. There's a very graphic, very geometric aspect of the 80s. I created many collections inspired by this period. And there's an aspect in this collection, a very geometric aspect with big sized shapes contrasting with the small sized shapes of the 40s. And the proportions of the 40 aussi. Fashion changes every six months, so we complain. It never ends. Oh. And there's always a fashion week somewhere in the world. But already, if we accept the idea of two collections a year, which is totally wrong, basically there's now a new collection every two months in the stores, Look at the automobile industry. They would dream to have a biannual, enforced renewal. They don't have one, so they sell less cars. Thank you.